Well, when we first got to Miamia, we, um, it was right after the war. In fact, the Japanese were still unloading the ships and everything. And the, the Korean people had had nothing, nothing, nothing. And when I went to the, when we were running the school, the kids came and they hardly had any clothes. And there was a young Englishman by the name of Mr. Carrot, who was the subdivisional officer. And when he found out there was a European family there that had a lady that actually cooked meals, every now and then he'd come by and with an excuse or other, and we would invite him to lunch. And he, it was, he was a very nice guy and very helpful. And one day he said, you know, is there anything I can do for you that would help you? And I said, yes. My kids are almost naked. Is there any way you can find some place where I can get cloth for them? I have a sewing machine. I have thread. I could sew them clothes, but they have no cloth to make clothes with. Bless his heart, I don't know where he got it. He got a whole big bolt of cloth. It was kind of stripy. And so we were able to make clothes for the kids. We had lots, you know, each one of them had one shirt of some kind or another. And it was a huge help. And Mr. Carrot was very popular with us. And we fed him every time he came. He was the guy that said that in England only the pigs ate pumpkin. I told you that, didn't I? Oh, I made pumpkin pie for the dessert. And he really enjoyed it. He said, what did you make this with? I said, pumpkin. He looked at me and said, you know, in England, the only thing that people that eat pumpkin are pigs. I never knew that people ate pumpkin. And I never knew that people didn't eat pumpkin. Did you? <laughs>